Work it, make it, do it Makes us honor, better, faster, stronger Work it, that, 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 that don't kill me Can only make us stronger Hello YouTube and welcome to my fifth HTML tutorial. In these next two tutorials, because the topic is a really big topic, I'm going to be showing you one of the most useful and popularly things used in web design and HTML. It's something called a form or forms. Let's say you wanted to sign up to a website and there's a sign up form where you had to fill in your first name, last name, gender, birth date, and then you make a username and password, and then you submit it. Well, that's basically what I'm going to be showing you. And actually, before I started this tutorial, I made an example really quickly just so I could show you. So here, let me bring this up. Okay, so here's the form that I made. Up here it says sign up. It's hard to read with this background. I didn't spend too much time making this. Anyways, here's the form. And here's a place to put your first name and your last name. I'm not going to fill all these in with my personal information. Um, display name, not really important right now. A username, whatever you want your username to be. A password. Now this actually puts it in place of bullets or asterisks depending on your web browser. And then your there's usually a place to confirm your password. Again, put the same thing usually. And then an email address, so blah, blah, blah at blah.com oops dot com and then there's a place to choose your gender male or female blah 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 um, and then a birth date the month I'm actually gonna do mine August 8th 1995 and then a submit button which submits it to the database which I do not have this connected to a database so I cannot do this right now I'll, again I'll be showing that later and then a reset button which resets everything to the defaults Okay, so let's bring up Notepad, and I'll actually show you how to do this. Okay, so like all my other videos, I'm going to film the basic stuff really quickly. Okay, so while I was doing that, I just really quickly made a um, heading one that says sign up form. I hope I didn't get you too confused on that. But I doubt that. Okay, so, anyways, um, the first tag you want to put in for a form is form. It's very, very simple. And also, when you get into ASPSQL, learning how to do databases, you're actually going to put in here an attribute called action equals get or post or whatever it is you're wanting to do with the information put in your form. Okay. So, the first thing we want to do is let's just create a place to put your first name. Okay. So, we make a tag that says input. You're basically going to input some amount of information. So, input, and then you put type, what kind of input you're putting in. We're going to put in text, because this is going to be a text box in which they push, put their information. Okay, now we make an attribute called name. When you receive the information someone's put in your form t on your database, when you open up your database, the information sent is going to say whatever you put in here. Here, I'll just put in here. This is going to be first name. You can make it whatever you want, just as long as you recognize it when you receive the information. Whatever someone types in here in this first name box, it's going to say this, whatever's in your name attribute, equals, and then what they put in there. So when you when you see the information that's sent to you, it'll say first name equals, and then whatever they put as their first name. Okay. So now, if you were to save this and open it up, all it would look like is just a text box. So you need to create the text before it that says put your first name here. So what you do is just go before the tag and type first name name and I just put a space there just to make it easier to see and so it'll say first name and then it'll have a text box where they put that in their first name so let's sh I'll show you what this looks like really quickly so let's save it to the desktop and again there's that default text document don't want that 
that. So let's call it website 5.html. And also, I'm going to add one quick comment really quickly. I've been reading through some HTML books, and I guess, I didn't know this before, um, there are actually certain operating systems like um, Mac, Linux, things like that, where they don't allow a four four um, characters to be put as a file extension. In this case, like if you're trying to put .html and it says it can't recognize that or something, just put .htm. It'll be the exact same thing. It's just some operating systems don't allow four letters in a file extension. But it does on this operating system, obviously. So I just put .html. All right, let's save. Minimize. And here is our new icon starting to get a collection of websites here. So let's bring this up. Okay, and here's the beginning of our sign-up form. And as you can see, first name. And this is where your user is going to input their first name. In this case, I'd be Bryce. All right, so now let's create a place for last name and a few more things. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is create a place to put their last name. Okay. If you were to put the the next input tag right here, the the two boxes would actually be touching each other because they're so close. So actually, I don't think I've shown this before in another tutorial. You use something what's known as a line break. A line break is basically like if you were typing and you press the enter button, it would make a new line. Well, in this, the tag for that is just br. Now this is a tag that closes itself within its own tag. So instead of doing break and then end break, all you do is just do space slash and end it. And you just create a line break and it closes itself within the own tag. Okay, so that's basically going to make a separate line. So now let's make the last name place. So put last name colon space. You don't have to do it like this. It's just how I do it. Input type equals another text box name is going to equal last name you don't have to put last name you can put L name or F name for first name it, it just doesn't matter as long as you recognize it so that you'll when you get it you'll recognize it okay so and that and I just need to go through this really quickly because I need to get all this done within two tutorials and that I'm going to have to go pretty quickly, so you might have to watch some parts over a couple times to get it down, right? Okay, so let's create another line break. And this time we're going to make an email place, so put email, colon. This is basically the same thing. Input type equals yet another text box. There's, there's going to be another one. Is for passwords. You'll you'll see though. Name equals and just put email. Okay, and that. Okay, and actually now that I remember, um, I think depending on how you want it to look, you may want two line breaks. Just um, can't be certain though. So I think that's what I did when I created that example before I made this video. So two line breaks. I think should do it. Okay, so let's create two line breaks. And let's make a place for someone's username. So type in username, not equals, sorry. And then input type equals text name equals username. Okay. Now normally at this two line breaks again, normally right here I'd show you again what this looks like, but I really need to get through this get through this done so I can show you some better stuff to do in my next tutorial so I don't have to make three, which I really do not want to do. Okay, so now we're going to make a place for a password. So password colon. Now we make the text box again it's input type, this time instead of text it's obviously password. Now when the web browser sees this, it says type equals password, it's going to replace all text with bullets or asterisks, again depending on your web browser. So name equals 
password. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what it looks like. So let's save it and minimize it. And after refreshing, here it is. First name, last name, email, username, and password. And I, I think this little dividing line right here, I think that makes it better. So two line breaks should make it work. And what do you know? This is going. all I'm going to be able to show you in this tutorial. My next tutorial, I'm going to continue forms and create and show you how to create some more interactive form applications. All right, so I'm Bryce Fritzl, and this has been HTML Tutorial Part Five. I can't get much stronger. Man, I've been waiting all night now. That's how long I've been on ya. I need you right now.